How are you guys doing? Welcome to another video by me. Um, I'm really working pretty hard to try to do a new YouTube video every week, if that be the podcast or some random video about some random thing that I'm interested in. Um, I'm really working hard to kind of put that together. So this is kind of my little project right now. Instead of putting any energy into Instagram, I've been putting all my energy over here. So I hope that hope that plan pays off. But this just you, the few who come and watch this. I'm also down with that. So this is this is also really fun to me. I don't feel like on IG I got to kind of share this type of content because again the platform doesn't didn't really allow for that to happen. But over here I can kind of do what I want long form. So. The plan is to make stuff over here, maybe chop it up, cut it up, put it over there. But we are here today on our today to look at logos that most people probably did not even notice were changed. Um, so these are some really popular places that most people go to or consume or buy. But I'm sure a lot of people had no idea that these logos even changed. Um, of course I'm a designer. I'm kind of, this is my bread and butter. This is where I make money. Um, I'm kind of a logo nerd. Uh, my wife gets annoyed because I tell her about this stuff all the time. And most of the time she doesn't care. Um, so we are going to hop right into this. Um, let me put up, I'm going to switch to a different mode. These are the logos we're going to talk about today. Um, most people probably believe these are what these logos still look like. Most of them, I mean, all of them have changed. So they no longer look like this. Um, either it was this year or last year, but all of these have recently changed. Um, we're going to kind of go by them, go through them one on one by one and kind of look at what they were, the history of them, what they are now and kind of who did it in the application. So it'll be something pretty quick, but this is what I love. This is going to be fun because I love getting into the nitty gritty. And some of these I think are really dope, especially in the way that they redid them. Um, so the one we're going to start with is probably my favorite logo rebrand of, I think it was 2020 when this one kind of dropped. Um, but we're going to start with, of course, Burger King. So we're going to start with the history so kind of what the logos originally looked like we all know burger king is a burger joint um closest competitor is of course mcdonald's so um we looked as we look through like the old burger king logos you can tell how uh things logos got to be whatever they logos most of the time are whatever they want them to be so it's also really funny how we all think that logos have to look a certain way. They don't. <laughs> if you look in the past, a lot of logos were like, ah, how did they pull that off? And it always, that's why I like to go back into the history to kind of show where things started. Um, as we go through, we see this one, which is really interesting. I um, don't get it, but I think it was just probably to keep things simple. Um, we have, of course, the king on the burger. We have a more um, probably toned down version of the Burger King logo. Um, and then we have what the Burger King logo was in 1999. And then we have what it was, what most of us remember it as from 1999 till today. Like I remember as a kid, um, having to go to a doctor's appointment and like before school started, my dad taking me to Burger King to get breakfast. So like Burger King breakfast is like still my stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what most of us, I believe most of us still remember Burger King as, um, logo wise, um, to show off the rebrands, I'm going to hop over to brand new, which is kind of like the designer's place to kind of, it's a blog where you can go see any recent logo redesign um, kind of goes with, has a blog entry of who did it and the application. Um, so it might look kind of funny that this is over here, but this is the new Burger King logo. Um, we had the original one, 1994 to 1990, what was that? Uh, 1999 to, to, to today. And then the newest one, which came out in 2020, um, they kind of took it back 
to a simpler look. I think they killed it. I think the simpler look especially works well for what's going on today. Um, for some reason in the 90s, we decided to do all these uh, extra details to make things look shiny. So if you look at a lot of logos from the 90s, they have these details that are like a shiny aspect of it. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, they went to this, a simpler look, kind of taking it back. If we, if we go back to here, yeah, they took it back to like 1994, 1999. I think the type is different, but yeah, it's a little bit more rounder, more approachable. But, um, and the people who did this one is Jones, Knowles, Richie. They knocked this one out of the park. Um, and then I always like to go see what the application and how they kind of um, raised it to the next level. This is their uh, app icon. You can see the B and the K, I think that's killer. Um, and then the color palette. I love the illustration so much. Um, I feel like it's so approachable. It's so cool. The And then the, the, the type that they picked to pair along with the new logo. Um, so, so good. Custom typeface. Oh, looks so good. And then you see it on all their wrappers and everything. I feel like they just knocked it out of the park. Um, and then the employee uniform killed it. And then to see, I like that. And even most people don't like to use, I feel like brown gets overlooked when it comes to like design and branding, but I feel like they killed it with the, like pairing in that brown with the other colors. Um, and then some more illustrations. Oh, it looks so good. So yeah, this was one of my favorite rebrands of last year. I, I just feel like it it works so well. The I think the saddest part of it all is <laughs> that Burger King, the food is not that great, but that's just me. Um, I feel like the look made me even want to step back in there knowing that the, the food is just all right. Um, but I just feel like it was, again, knocked out of the park. And then here is a, I think this was the, the video that they had with it. Um, oh, it was so good. The animation in it. <sighs> yeah, this was sick. And then it kind of showed off all the pieces that they kind of created for it. Man, looks good, looks great. So we are probably gonna go, we're gonna go on to the next um, next brand and kind of look at where they started. So we are going to look at BET and where BET started to where it's at today. Um, BET is near and dear to my heart, of course, because I'm black, but I remember it being like where we got a lot of our, they had a lot of hip hop content and countdowns when it came to like music videos and stuff and um uh 106 in park i remember running home to go watch that after school so bt again near and dear um but we got to this is what bt's logo looked like um again from 2010 to 2021 so this is what most people probably remember it being uh before man it was just it's kept the same elements all the way through which is very interesting um, most people most brands don't and it changes a lot but this one has stayed very similar to where it started um let's go over here and kind of let's look at what it is today so bt recently i think it was what yeah 2002 has recently got um a facelift so again the elements have stayed very true to what it's always been um but yeah it's got a new look uh what i loved about this one was kind of how they applied it i felt like the application was amazing it was like gorgeous um so yeah this is the new logo and then these were the new kind of um sub i would call them like sub brands but um different channels within bt and they own they all got their own logo which is really freaking dope so they got their own logo and then their own application um the way that they're going to be applied so and then these are just still showing off the 
like possible, but my favorite part is definitely the sub brains. So we're almost down there. So this is like a BT her, so it's like more of a women's focused um, chant, like its own channel. So yeah, the look is amazing. The colors are great. I feel like that the it's very trendy, but yet still its own. And I feel like it's very anchored in that new logo. Like, man, that's so, so killer. And then they have, I think this is BT Jams. So it's like, again, raw textured bold. Oh, uh, it just looks so good. The, and then the texture looks so raw, it looks amazing. Looks great, man, very clean. I would, yeah, that's, it looks so good. So yeah, that was just a, the, I think those are the best, best parts of this rebrand and then that application, I don't know if you can beat. <laughs> it looks so killer. So yeah, BT is something that has, I've always been around it or seen it, um, but it's really cool to see it grow into something that can go further. Like I feel like with the, this rebrand, you can kind of see it going to that next generation or moving on. So that one's sick. Um, our next one we're gonna talk about is, um, we're gonna talk about Taco Bell. So let's start with the history. So these are kind of where it started. Taco Bell. This one always makes me think of um, the, I think it's the Taco Doritos. Um, so it's interesting. I don't know if they're connected or anything, but that's what it makes me think of. Um, and then we all know this look right here. And man, it's been that since what? It says 1994. So this is what most of us remember Taco Bell being and looking like. Um, let's take a look at what it looks like now. So yeah, <laughs> it's just, see, again, we have these like swashes or swooshes. Um, again, it's very nineties, the way that they, they have these like extra accents. And then the thing of now is to pull, this was happened in 2016, which still was a little while ago, but to pull things back to like a simpler look is what everyone's going to, um, simplified this is probably 2016 is probably a little early for that so it was probably one of the first ones to start actually like pulling it back but i i don't feel like i have a preference <laughs> i feel like both of them could work i i still can see why people haven't realized that it changed because it's like again it's pretty close to what it was um they just pulled it back a little bit new typeface um but yeah, I, I feel fine. I feel fine about it. I don't feel anything crazy about it. Um, it's okay. And then for them, by pulling it back, you do get to do some other things more creatively with application. So that's always really fun um, when things can kind of be simplified a little bit. It looks like that. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, you can, you can do more stuff like that when the logo is simpler. And that looks killer. So yeah, really dope. I, I think it's fine. Again, I think it's okay. I get why they did it um, to move out of that kind of old 90s look. So they've kind of moved a little forward in it. Um, but yeah, it's Taco Bell. Like, I, I don't, <laughs> what else do you say? People, people love Taco Bell. So um, I think it makes it them a little bit more approachable, but again, it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I always say with a lot of these people, what people don't, uh, bring into, bring into the conversation is the fact that obviously Taco Bell made this change for a reason and we don't know what that reason is. Um, so we just have to take what they, what they have given us visually and kind of, um, guess a little bit and we're, we're not always going to be right but um it looks like it was just a move to kind of bring things forward bring it into the future so i i think it's okay <laughs> um the next one is baskin robbins baskin robbins just recently got um updated here's here um i think within the the last couple months um so this is where we kind of started the history of it 
I always think it's interesting. Baskin Robbins has always had that 31 flavors um, and 31 within the logo. So that's pretty a pretty cool element to kind of like um, anchor your brand on. So even within the one that we most most of us know from 2006 to 2020 with the BR and then you see the 31 within it, it's always been in there. Um, I remember Baskin Robbins when I was a kid, again, it's so funny that most of these brands again have become nostalgia for especially us millennials who have been around for a little while um but yeah there was a baskin robbins on base and because i was an army kid so on base within the px there was a baskin robbins and i remember um we would go to the px and then we would sometimes get ice cream but i other than that when i lived in missouri that was the only place that I remember having a Baskin Robbins. So the PX was weird like that. It would have all these restaurants that in the area weren't there, but it was bringing kind of um, those nostalgic things to the troops. So it was pretty cool um, sometimes because we had special things on base that no one else had. So we go over to look at the rebrand. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> um, I get it. I get why you would kind of go this direction. Um, I feel like it's a little, um, you, you, again, you, br you brought it a little bit more into the future, a little bit more into the now. Um, my only issue sometimes is I feel like the three gets lost. So you, you don't really necessarily, when you first look at it, understand what you're looking at. Um, but I get it. I think it's moving forward. I think it's um, kind of fun. I again, I like the use of the brown. I, brown doesn't get used a lot, but it's really cool when they can kind of bring it within. Um, let's take a look at the application. Applications. Ooh, I kind of, I definitely like it on the brown over here. Yeah, pink makes sense too. But I, that looks that looks great on a cup. <laughs> it looks really strong. Um, fun powerful yeah i don't know if i can hate when you see it applied <laughs> so even on the bags it looks great it looks very strong yeah it looks like a place you want to be and that pink looks that pink is anchoring it it's definitely strong and loud yeah i haven't been in a basket robin in forever but i definitely get it i definitely get it Yeah, that definitely looks good. That looks really good. Um, so I definitely see why they did that. It looks more mature. It looks more more brought forward. So yeah, Baskin Robbins kind of killed that. And it was done by, who did this? Change Up. Never heard of them before. But yeah, I think they kind of killed that. Um, the next one that I don't know if, so there's not really a, a pass for this one. This one is kind of, more recent, um, Chobani. Um, so we're just gonna look at both of what it used to be and what it is now. This is what Chobani used to be. This is what Chobani is now. Oh, I love that type. The type on the on the new um, logo is so clean. Um, I feel like it's soft. I feel like it's inviting. Oh, I love it so much. Um, I don't hate before. Uh, I just like the new one. I think this is more the style that I'm kind of into. Um, so this is what Chobani used to look like before. Um, and then this is what the new logo looks now with some, these are the brand platforms and services. I love the color palette. I love this like um, off white color. It looks so good, especially with the green. And then some product photography, man, that, I just love now that we're using typefaces to anchor whole brands. Like, it's so clean, it's so nice. Um, it seems more natural is, is kind of what I get out of it. Like, um, and more, again, more inviting. I like it. On that shirt, that looks so good. Man, that looks awesome. Yeah, they did it. <laughs> 
they did it. They definitely improved. Um, but yeah, most people I'm sure didn't even notice. Um, it's to me, it's it might it's like it might be too subtle, like for the normal person to realize. But as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, that looks amazing. So, and then they always have. Yeah, that looks dope. Yogurt. Man. Great. I think that's a great job. I think they killed that. I'm I'm speechless most of the time when I'm looking at it. Cause it's like, to me, it's crazy how you can take something that can be so overlooked like a word mark and have so much um, personality in it that is so inviting like it's that's so cool to me um okay we're just gonna go ahead and move on i got a couple more um and i don't want to kind of take up too much time so the next one we're gonna do we're gonna do abc um, um, i don't, I don't know, know if people, people really noticed notice when this happened, this happened. um but it because it, again the changes were subtle but i feel like the changes that did happen i really enjoyed them um, so this is American Broadcasting Company, of course. We all know about ABC, um, a network channel that we've all been watching since we were kids. Um, interesting to see where it came from when it when it comes to its logo. Uh, and then 1962 is where the the basic logo kind of started that we we most of us know. And then again, this shiny look came in. This is a little late for it to come in. Um, I feel like because really the shiny look was like a 90s thing but yeah this is what we probably all remember abc as um and so let's hop into kind of what it looks like now yeah they just flattened it <laughs> i think they might have just gone back to yeah it looks like they just went back to 1988 to the 2000s one the c's a little different the a and the b are a little different too like i think the the um width on the the letters are a little, is a little thicker, um, but yeah, I don't mind it. I think it looks fine. Um, it's definitely simpler. It's following that simple trend that a lot of brands lately have been following. Um, this is before. And quick video of the after. I think, I think, yeah. Oh, there goes the changes. See, yeah, very subtle. Okay. Yeah, they're bringing everything into to being consistent with the size of the lettering. Hey, I get it. I get it. Um, let's see some of the application. Yeah, I think it still looks good. I, I don't really... I don't think they had to do that, um, but again, I think everyone's going into this more flat, simplified look. Um, it and being simplified helps a lot when it comes to like motion and bringing motion into your logo design. So I think that might be why we're seeing such a well motion and then application. So it allows you to put it a lot of places when it's just as flat as they're making it um so you can kind of put this anywhere you can put it on a shirt you can put it um in motion you can put it pretty much anywhere and not really have a problem um applying it so i think that's more why like nowadays we have the internet became a huge thing and you need to be able to apply these logos in so many places on the internet in different sizes and i think there was a hard transition for a lot of people especially with when it came to them trying to do these 3D looks with the swashes and everything in them. So I think that's what's kind of leading the charge on the simplified look. Um, I think, again, I think it looks okay. I'm not like blown away or anything, but it looks strong. It looks, it looks like a logo is supposed to look that lasts the test of time. And that's why it still looks 90% the same as it has for a while. Uh, when was that? It said 19... Yeah, 1962. So that was a, a strong logo to kind of build. And that's why when you build strong, simplified logos, they last, they can last the test of time. Um, so we're gonna go to the last brand, which is Warner Brothers. Um, 
I wanted to show kind of where Warner Brothers started. I think it's so interesting to do this. Um, that's not bad. Classics of the screen. That's probably why they had to change it. <laughs> and then, yeah, the lot. That's where they picked up the, the shield shape, it looks like. Um, yeah, the traditional look that we kind of all know. Um, ooh. W7 monogram. It's, wow, that looks wild. That looks experimental version. Yeah, that looks like, I think that's Waymo. Looks like the Waymo logo. And then 2000, 1993 to 2019. And I still don't think this is the one that we all remember. Um, I'm gonna go over to kind of the old and the new on brand new. Um, I think this is what most of us remember from the films. Um, but yeah, this is the new look that they've kind of created. To me, it seems a little bit more playful, a little bit more inviting, um, a little bit more kid friendly is kind of the vibe that I get. Um, I don't hate it though. Um, I, I get why, again, they're simplifying, they're following the trend. I really like this W in here though. Um, I like how they've carried a lot of the same feel from the W and the B from how it used to be. Um, so yeah, it looks, it looks fun. It looks cool. Um, maybe we can look at this. Oh, this is the. Oh, yeah, that looks dope. I like that. I love when brands do that to kind of show off their um, update so you can kind of see what changed and what like where they're going. Um, but yeah, that looks great. <laughs> Questioning the golden ratio, but hey, I think it looks great. The logo looks good. Oh, a flat and a shaded version. That shaded version looks great. Uh, monogram detail. Yeah, I see it. And um, Warner Brothers owns, I think they own, or they have a lot of like DC properties. So I think it's again to go with probably what most of their properties are and their more entertainment for the younger. I think they own Cartoon Network too. Um, so yeah, I get it. I understand why they would do it. Go a little bit younger because their audience is probably a, a little bit younger than what their look was going for. So um, it's fun. It's definitely fun. It's a moving, I, yeah, I like that. I'm actually by going through all this, I, I think I like it a little bit more. Um, that typeface looks great and it's custom. Yeah, that looks good. See, sometimes, and that's why I think sometimes we have to like withhold judgment until we see kind of the application of some of this stuff. You're not gonna know what this stuff is gonna look like live or, or once things get going without seeing how they're gonna apply it. So I think sometimes we judge too early on like some of this stuff. So it's kind of cool. I, I definitely like this a little bit more seeing it kind of fully applied. Um, yeah, so the next brand we're going to do is, um, Campbell's Soup. Uh, Campbell's Soup has been around for a long time. Um, so I, of course, this is so cool to kind of see where they all started. Um, yeah. And then in 1898 is when they adopted kind of a, um, script type word mark and then this is probably what most of us remember is that script type word mark um yeah and it's always been clean always looks great um and when they and i think they recently made the change i don't think it's anything that's been too long ago um but yeah looks great it's strong it's i think the red um looks good and it stayed mostly the same so 1898 is when they adopted that what is that almost 100 years yeah 120 years of staying around the same that's the the sign of a good logo is is one that can stand the test of time so we're gonna look at the change real quick and kind of what they made different um yeah, this one, 
I don't necessarily like. I feel like they kind of lose some of the personality that has stand, stood the test of time and been, been around a, a long time. But I think I know the reason for why they did it. I think it's to make it a little bit more legible. So if you look, you can see some of the swashes and some of the letters have been trimmed. So there's actually like cut away so you, they don't carry to the next letter anymore. Um, but I think it's okay. Like I, I definitely like the way it looked before a little bit more. Um, but let's, again, let's see the application. Let's see if that kind of changes my mind. Um, a foreign, yeah. I, I think I get it. I, I think I see why. Yeah, I don't know how you, I don't know if you can argue that this is better than what they used to have, but again, I don't know the reasons for them making the change. Maybe it's to be more legible on a shelf, but I don't know if there's anything more iconic than a Campbell soup can. People see it and know that that's a Campbell soup can just Man, just off of the the look alone from down the aisle, you know that that's a Campbell soup can. So, um, yeah, uh, it's okay. I think it's just okay. These illustrations are kind of cool, kinda. I don't really do much. Yeah, I think, I think this might be one of those where they just got swept up in trying to simplify like everybody else. And I don't know if they needed to. I think they could have probably rocked with what they had. And we see other brands like Burger King and Pizza Hut going back to old traditional logos, but I think that's for the nostalgia's sake. So Campbell's probably did this. I probably foresee them in the future going back to what they had. Um, to have more of that, to capture more of that nostalgia, but it is what it is. Um, I want to go ahead and, uh, kind of sign off. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you like this content, go ahead and give me a like, uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm working to kind of figure out, this was a test to kind of see what type of content you guys like and what will go a little bit further. Um, but of course I love talking about logos, so I could do this any day of the week. Um, so if you had a good time, let me know, drop me a comment. Let me know what type of videos you want to see next. Um, I appreciate you again. I'm Cameron Davis and I will see you in the next video.